Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over installing ignition coils on a Volkswagen 2.5 five-cylinder engine. Here we have the two options of ignition coils. Here is uh, the original Volkswagen version. You do want to make sure these have been updated a few times and superseded. So uh, on our site, you'll always find the latest and greatest version that's offered. So uh, you want to make sure you have that version. Here we have our Audi R8 version, which is uh, commonly used on many VW engines, but also fits the 2.5. We can start by removing the engine cover. Now this particular vehicle we're working on has an aftermarket intake. So normally what you would have would be a duct that would run here uh, to the front radiator support of the vehicle for, for directing airflow into the engine cover, which is also uh, the air box, the air filter is housed inside here. And then a pipe that would run from here to the throttle body. So once you would remove those pipes, the, the duct, and then that pipe that attaches, all you do is pull up and there are grommets that hold the engine cover on. And once you get it off the four grommets, you can, can kind of rotate it around. And as you can see here, this is the grommet that mounts the engine cover on. Once the engine cover is removed, we can remove the ignition coil connectors. Now, to do so, you push down on this tab and then pull backwards. A lot of times the vehicle will get a little bit of dirt under there. So you, the best thing to do is push forward then push down on the tab to release it and then push back and then your connector will slide off. Now some of these, because of where this harness is routed into the valve cover, you're going to have to kind of pull up on the harness to get it out of its little guide. Otherwise you're not going to be able to have any room to move the connector back. Now we can just push that out of the way and now we can pick each one of our coils up. Uh, an easy thing to do would be to take a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver and put it under the back side of the coil and then just lift up. This will make it easy for you. Once you get it up, you can just pull it the rest of the way out. When installing new, your new ignition coils, all you do is put it into the cylinder, pop it down until it clicks. And we can reinstall our harness. And you all will hear most of these connectors click audibly once they are properly seated where in their position. It may be a good idea to just get these all seated in place first and then you can just push them in one at a time. and then push this harness back down in place. And our final step is to install the engine cover and we can do so. We want to put the back portion, kind of angle it down and then get it done on the mounts. And you can kind of feel it sit in the right place and then you can just pop them down and then you're all set. Now, normally if you had a vehicle with a factory intake, you would have a duct here that you would attach to the front of the radiator support and then this hose you would reattach, which would attach to the throttle body. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.